Broaching is a machining process in which a broach is pulled or pushed through a workpiece or along the surface of a workpiece to generate a final part shape. Broaching is used extensively in machining gears, holes, splines, and keyways. The broaching process is economical when achieving quality of finish and close tolerances are essential. The broach, also known as the broaching tool, has a series of teeth that gradually increase in circumference or height over the length of the tool. Each tooth in the series helps to remove a predetermined amount of material when the broach moves along the workpiece and cuts deeper than the previous tooth. Both roughing and finishing cuts can be achieved in a single pass of the broaching operation, which enables the material to be removed at a faster rate and with high precision. Broaching operations can be classified as internal broaching and external broaching, also known as surface broaching, based on the machining surface of the workpiece. Internal broaching is used for machining interior surfaces such as round holes, splined holes, and irregular shaped holes. Surface broaching is used for machining exterior surfaces such as flat, concave, convex, serrated, or cam-shaped profiles. Both of these broaching operations are performed in a path parallel to the axis of the broach. Broaching operations can be classified as linear broaching or rotary broaching based on the movement of the broach in relation to the workpiece. When the broach travels linearly up and down or side to side in relation to the workpiece, it is called linear broaching. In rotary broaching, the broach and the workpiece rotate together. The broach moves into the workpiece, making successive cuts. Rotary broaching is referred to as wobble broaching. Wobble broaching is economical for smaller production runs. Special broaching operations such as punch broaching, die broaching, and single point broaching are used when the broach shape cannot pass all the way through the workpiece. Punch broaching uses a broach to cut internally in the component. Punch broaching is used for high volume production. The punch broach removes a predetermined amount of material in one pass, similar to the shaping process. Either the workpiece or the tool holder is indexed to subsequent punch tools until the final shape is produced. Die broaching uses a broach to cut externally on the component. Die broaching is used for high volume production. A die broach has a set of internal teeth that engulf the workpiece to produce the shape in the external surface in one single pass. Either the workpiece or the tool holder is indexed to subsequent die broaches until the final shape is produced. Unlike punch broaching, single point broaching requires multiple passes to machine a portion of the final shape. The single point broaching tool is then indexed around the workpiece to produce the final shape. The broaching processes are typically done on a broaching machine. Computer numerical control or CNC mills and CNC lathes can also be used for broaching with wobble or rotary and single point broaches. Compared to other machining processes, the advantages of broaching include faster machining as both the roughing and finishing cuts are done in one pass, longer tool life as each tooth of the tool passes only once on the workpiece. A broad range of materials can be broached. And the ability to produce difficult to machine features. Compared to other machining processes, the limitations of broaching include higher tooling costs, it is not recommended for removal of a large amount of material, and tapered holes and grooves cannot be broached.